I found out something about the market that I didn't know. I had a misconception about the market, and I'm gonna I'm gonna crank this up, and we're gonna have a little talk about the market. I thought that the market only um, only stored finished goods. Now, what I mean by finished goods is everything other than um, the raw materials, which is coal, iron, logs, and stone. Right? Those are the four raw materials. Everything else is called a fit. So it's like firewood is a finished good, not a raw material, because you take logs and you turn them into firewood. Um, but apparently, no, the marketplace picks up everything. It'll make everything available. So um, I, that was my misconception. So I'm glad that I figured that out before I told you guys the wrong thing, because I hate doing that. It's the thing I get most annoyed with myself about. So that's the, the the market. Now, what happens is the when you build a market, you assign traders, and the tra oh, Kalanit died. Oh, we're losing all of our original settlers now. It's such a shame. End of an era. Um, when you assign the traders, the traders will go to various places um, and and collect the goods and take them to the market, and then people. Uh, who live in the area, who live in this area, can go and uh, and pick up their goods from the central location. So if they need food or firewood or like pretty much anything, uh, tools, pff, clothes, anything, they can just go to this one location, pick them up and boom, one trip, done. So um, markets are, are good for in terms of increasing your the, the, the productivity of your people because they don't have to wander around so far. So that's excellent. Um, hopefully, eventually, our labourers. We've only got four at the moment. I'll take a couple of foresters off. Um, we've got the two builders as well, because they're not—they're probably not building anything at the moment. Um, but they've got a load of stuff to collect. But I want them to get onto these houses because I want to expand the population. Because the more population we've got, the more we can expand. And as long as you're keeping up with everything, which we are right now, um, it's all pretty darn good news. Now, I guess the next thing, like once we've got the trading in place and we've got this in place, and look at the firewood. We're up to a, fi a thousand firewood. Now, just to put this in context, because this, this is worth mentioning. A thousand firewood, um, firewood's worth four each. In, in bartering terms. <clears throat> so a thousand firewood is four thousand or worth four thousand. Now seeds for example cost two and a half thousand. Uh, a cow costs like eight hundred. So like a thousand firewood is actually a lot in terms of trading t um, trading power. So this is why I've cranked this up to two thousand and what we're going to do is put like fifteen hundred into the um, the trading post, uh, and that'll mean that we can buy like two lots of seeds or a bunch of cows or sheep or whatever at any time. Now I was talking about <clears throat> I was going to talk about sustainability. Now trees are obviously sustainable as long as you put your foresters in to replant. So you cut trees, but you're replanting. That's sustainable. Food, all your food sources are sustainable like crops yeah you kind of need to do some crop rotation but it's all sustainable um, cattle all your livestock all sustainable what isn't sustainable is uh, stone iron and coal because even though you can put in mines to mine iron let's say you put a, a, a mine in over here right once that iron mine exhausts itself um, you have to go and put in another iron mine and you can't remove the one that's there so like now it may take a very 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 long time but ultimately you will run out of space for iron mines now that would take a huge like especially on a map like this where you've just got you know tons and tons and tons of space but those iron mines are going to become a bit of an eyesore now one thing that you could do and I'm kind of toying with the idea of doing this is is to run a completely sustainable economy and actually trade oh that's got built so let's assign 
Let's assign a couple of people to work there. Yeah. They'll start bringing goods in. We'll keep an eye on that. Um, so what you could do is do like a, a, a real full-blown firewood economy where you just trade your firewood for um, everything that you need. Stone, iron and coal. Which, um, which is absolutely possible. Let's crank this up to times 10. I got it on. <laughs> I got it on times 1. No! Oh, no wonder things weren't moving very quickly. Yeah, okay. Things, things are going to move along a lot quicker now. Which is good news. Okay, so, right. So the traders are starting to bring stuff in. And so, right, fish, iron, logs... They'll bring everything. We'll have like berries, uh, mushrooms, like you name it, herbs, uh, firewood. They'll bring in like everything that you can think. Look, it's all filling up. Excellent berries, onions, roots. So they're bringing stuff from everywhere, and uh, and it's because we've got everything like it within range of the market. So now, like we can build houses over here, and. Uh, this is gonna. This is gonna become a bit of a town. We'll put in a town hall and stuff like that. You know, how much is the town hall? Where's the services? Okay, town hall. I don't need, there it is. Uh, 124 stone. 48 iron. Yeah, you know, we could put that in, and then we could start looking at the graphs, which I think would be kind of nice to show you. Hmm. Do I go that way, or do I continue to expand? Because I really want to continue the expansion and start using, like, a lot of this map. Hmm. It's very tempting. I'd like this darn trading post to get built, actually, because we've got tons of firewood now. We could actually start the whole, the whole trading thing. And I've got this idea... Like I'd love to get some either some cattle or some sheep would be sweet. Like especially sheep. Sheep's are like one of the best things you can get, I think, because not only does it add uh, you know more meat to to your diet, but the wool is just awesome. And you and you can make warm coats and all kinds of stuff. But we'll but, but like we'll talk about that when we get to the when we get to the whole sheep bit. Um, okay, so we're we're cranking up the houses. And uh, oh, Blair's moved in. Blair's moved out, and he's in. Oh no, we yeah, we, I think we saw that already. Yeah, we did. Did we? I can't remember now. I get confused now because obviously, <laughs> I had that that first game, and then I've, I'm, now I'm kind of replaying that section of the game again. I'm gonna get so confused. Anyway, we can keep a keep a track of um, of, of Blair because that's like the continuation of the the Rock family. We've got. Shivonia and her family. She's already had a couple of kids. Oling and Annie. Oh, it's Star Wars. Oh, excellent. Oh, we'll definitely have to get... This must be the... St oh, well, there you go. This is the Skywalker family. Shivonia Skywalker. And there's Annie. Anakin. Anakin Skywalker. In my village. <laughs> oh, man. Now, why have I turned off the professions? Because I'm, apparently I'm a bonehead again. All right. Yeah, I mean we we've now got ten kids, so that's going to start to bump up our number of adults. I should have got some more houses built a little bit earlier. So to make up for that, I'm going to pop in a couple more because I I do want to keep the population ticking over as much as possible. Let's pop one in there. One in there because we will use them. There's no question about it. We do need more stone because we got. A, how's this doing? Yeah, we need 80 stone for that, and then we've got like yeah. We, I mean, we need lots of stone. Hopefully, we can trade for some stone. That would be like seriously good. We've picked up most of the stone that's close to us now. We do need to be careful. We may need to put a quarry in at some point, but um, I'd, yeah, I'd love to start trading and like, like just like buy stone and stuff. 
because you can set that up to, to be traded automatically but we'll we'll do more of that when we actually get to that point so let's um, let's pick up everything off the island there's a bit of iron up there as well let's take that let's make sure we've got everything see there's a bit of iron there any more stone yes yeah, a little bit of stone there as well pick up everything, make sure we've got everything from around here, and the same with the iron, oh there's a nice iron deposit down there, yeah we'll have that, and that's it's kind of a little bit further, this this, this round here, so we've got roads, so pick up that bit as well. have all the stone in this area. We've already got we've already already nicked everything from around here, yep. Yeah. There's a few bits there we'll take. Okay, we've got six labourers and the two builders who are not very occupied at the moment. So they should start bringing that stuff in pretty darn quickly. Ah uh, demonic has died. That is a shame. And Jen Carlton, I don't, I don't even remember. Oh no, that's a new person that's replaced Jen Carlton. That's replaced Demonica. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. We're up to 36 people. We've got 12 kids. That, those kids are going to start maturing pretty quickly. So we're going to, the population is going to grow pretty rapidly. We need to find work for these people. What are we going to get them to do? Firewood's good. Our logs has dropped a little bit. Oh, there's somebody that's cold. Yeah, go home, get warm, you idiot. That was that was one of these two. We've got clothes. Uh, no, uh, yes we have. Yes, we've got clothes. Tools is good. We're, we're up around our 50 limit. Clothes isn't at the moment, which I'm thinking is probably more to do with the shortage of, um, of leather than anything else. Nice churning them out. You'll catch up. You'll catch up eventually, I think. I th I, seriously, I think that is more to do with a shortage of leather than anything else. But um, yeah, I will. Well, we'll keep an eye on that. I think. Yeah, materials. Yeah, he's short of leather. So if we get some cows, we'll put in. I think a pasture, like over here, or maybe even a couple of pastures over here. We'll see. Or yeah, maybe maybe do a whole cow thing over here. A whole big cow thing, because this this area we can use. So, and we've got stone and iron, which I think I've, I'm pretty sure that I've designated. But my, yeah, I already already designated for for nicking. Okay, we've got most of what we need we just need the the stone we've already got the 40 iron we've got the logs we just need the stone and then we can start trading and then things are like gonna move along like pretty darned rapidly now you'll probably be going hey sky keep an eye on your food you're running out of food yeah well kind of sorta what happens is like when a new house is built and a new family move in they they go and they grab a whole bunch of food but then that keeps them going for a while, so you'll find that this will um, this will rapidly get back up into into good positive territory. There's uh, there's no real food worries at the moment. How are we doing? We've got like eleven labourers, so I think we can. Um, mind you, I've I've designated quite a lot of stuff for them to pick up, so I might just let them get on with it. Do we need anything of? I mean, I could, I, I do want to crank the foresters up. Yeah, I'm going to do that actually. I want to get the foresters up to twelve. 
We've got, we're up to 39 people, 12 children. Yeah, going to do that. Because I, I want a really good supply of logs coming in. I would like to add another woodcutter. Maybe, maybe have a woodcutter over here or something. That'd be quite good. Put in a put in a stockpile and a woodcutter. I might, yeah. because we're going to be buying, I think, a lot of stuff. Now, one thing. Now, this was um, yeah, talking of tips, which I was earlier. Oh, Buston and Valerine. I'm trying. I'm trying to keep an eye on these people so I can sort of spot who's who's doing what and who's growing up and. Um, which, like, it's easy to spot who's dying, but you kind of—it's easy to kind of miss this stuff. Um, I was speaking of tips, wasn't I? And I've completely forgotten which tip I was going to tell you about. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Ah, I had a really good tip. Sorry about that. I've forgotten it. I'll tell you later. It will come back to me, and I will tell you at some point. But it's like completely gone on my way. This is like I get distracted by these little things, and then I'm like, "What the hell was I talking about?" Ah, uh, see, this is taking. Uh, you know what? Okay, let's try this prioritization thing, right? Because let's let's prioritize this area, okay? And let's see if anybody actually comes over here and gives this any priority whatsoever. I mean, they, we were only waiting for the stone anyway, so I guess they have been kind of paying attention to it, but... I don't know, maybe, maybe it does, but it's just kind of not very visible, or... I think they're just waiting on the resources to get these built anyway, because we're, we're still low on stone, so they've got to go off and pick the stone to, to build them anyway. We've got all the stone for this now. Oh, we can start trading. Which is all exciting stuff. These guys are all maxed out on their productivity. So so we've got 50 tools in stock. So he's stopped. The woodcutters are both up to... Okay. I'm going to crank this up. Because um, we're go we are going to use this. We are going to start spending, but you can see, like this. I mean, that like we've already got two thousand firewood. That's like eight thousand to spend. That's like four lots of seeds, which is like that's huge. That's a huge amount of resources to be able to trade. Firewood is like seriously awesome. I mean, we've only all we've got is this three forest nodes, and it's producing. Um, like pretty much everything we need. Um, we've got two fishermen. Oh, I we do need actually some more hunters. I'm going to put two. Uh, yeah, we needed an extra two hunters and gatherers. We've only got four gatherers. Man, I'm seriously slacking off. We need two of those. Okay, that's better. So now our food should go up even faster and hopefully it should get, uh, get into very positive territory see like see how quickly it goes up but it also goes down quite quickly because they come and grab like a hundred food at a time uh, for the houses how are we doing in the market 300 herbs a bunch of firewood a couple of coats some iron tools and if if this starts to get into positive terror into, into like reasonably positive territory this will be full of stuff now how are we doing like health and happiness wise like really good really you know everybody's happy and healthy we look like like four and a half of each so no worries there we don't have to start thinking about any of the other like extras to, to keep people happy like graveyards and churches and taverns oh 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 now that's a really really good tip now people think now I'm, I'm desperately trying to think of who told me this and I can't remember it was one of my subs told me this 
Ah, oh, like if whoever you are, if you watch this, make a comment because I want to credit you for this, and I can't remember. I can't remember who told me. Um, berries from gatherers, okay. Uh, which we don't have any in the market at the moment, but hey. Uh, gatherers produce berries. Now, berries are a fruit, and you need fruit to produce alcohol, right? So, you don't necessarily need to wait until you get orchards before you produce alcohol. You can use the berries that are produced from the gatherers to produce alcohol. Uh, like, I think that is a really, really good tip. Like, not that, not that like, it's, like, desperate to produce alcohol very quickly, but, like, as an alternative to, uh, to orchards, just use the berries from the gatherers. I think that's pretty darn cool of a, of a suggestion. How are we doing people-wise? We're up to 42, 12 kids. Have we got people who are, like, who are, they're getting very old, Ered and Noreen. They're two of our last original people. Well, Olive and Sydney. I remember Sydney being born. Waver and Reethy, all the kids have moved out. Moriel's still at home, so we could do with getting these um, couple of houses built. Okay, let's assign a couple of traders. Now, what they will start doing is they will go and get anything that we've assigned to go in here and bring it over to the trading post ready to be traded. So, uh, let's go to firewood and we're going to crank this up to we're going to actually why am I doing that why don't I just type in the number it's so, so much faster we're going to put in like 2000 because that gives us like 8000 to spend which is like that's a lot I mean that we, we can buy like three seeds at a time with that or like a herd of cows or whatever that's, that is a lot but uh Yep, that'll do. That'll do. And you can see that as this stuff comes in, there's only a certain amount that you can keep in a trading post. So ultimately, we may have multiple trading posts. In fact, I'm pretty darn sure that we will have multiple trading posts. You know, I do wonder if people can walk across there. I don't really want to find out, but... Now, one of the achievements is to build, like, a really big bridge. So, I'm thinking at some point I'm going to put a bridge across here. <laughs> you know me and my bridges. Maybe have, like, maybe do a double-decker bridge. <laughs> Oops, wrong game. 